Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Deciphered, a video series from Blockstream that shares best practices in the Bitcoin space by exploring some of the cool features in our wallets, technologies, and other products for all skill levels. In today's video, we'll be diving into the fun topic of buying and hodling Bitcoin, otherwise known as stacking sats. More recently, due to the high main chain fees, many users are turning to Bitcoin's second layer protocols like Lightning and Liquid to stack more sats. Liquid's cheaper fees, greater confidentiality, and fast one-minute block times make it a convenient, low-cost way to stack sats and consolidate UTXOs, especially when paired with Lightning. A great way to stack sats cheaply in a high-fee environment is to withdraw Lightning sats from an exchange that offers free Lightning withdrawals and then swap from Lightning to Liquid using a non-custodial swap service like Bolts. Once your stack is large enough or when fees are lower again, you can swap back to main chain Bitcoin to better secure your long-term savings stack. It may sound a bit daunting, but it actually is only a few steps and you'll be on the forefront of layer 2 Bitcoin tech, which will only become more popular in the years to come as we reach hyper-Bitcoinization around the world. Before we begin today's session, for a more in-depth recount of the Liquid and Lightning networks, make sure you check out our earlier deciphered videos, which I'll link in the description box down below. So with that, let's get started. Let's firstly briefly review a few basic ways you can try to lower fees without utilizing Bitcoin's second layer, but by just being a bit more strategic on how you approach main chain stacking. First, you can wait for the mempool or the amount of pending transactions to be lower. The lower the number of pending transactions, the more likely you are to pay less in fees. Second, you can deprioritize your transactions in some wallets like Blockstream Green using the fee control feature. If you are okay waiting longer for your transaction to be confirmed by miners, then pick a lower fee priority. And third, but finally, you can be aware of how many UTXOs you are sending in a single transaction to help reduce fees. Each Bitcoin UTXO holds the same weight when spending them, meaning it costs the same amount in fees to send a small amount of Bitcoin as it does to send a large amount of Bitcoin if there is only one UTXO. Conversely, if you are sending more than one UTXO at a time, the fees can add up quickly. Therefore, it's very important to double check your UTXOs and if appropriate, consolidate them. We'll be doing a deep dive into this topic in a future video, so make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date. So what exactly is a Layer 2 or L2? In the most general sense, a Bitcoin L2 is a protocol that uses Bitcoin as its native asset and functions dependent on the Bitcoin main chain. Its purpose is to scale Bitcoin and or extend Bitcoin's functionality. To understand layered scaling, we must also discuss the blockchain trilemma, which refers to the challenges of balancing security, scalability, and decentralization in the core design of blockchain systems. Bitcoin prioritizes and optimizes security and decentralization, but lacks scalability. To scale, Bitcoin must rely on its second layer protocols such as Lightning, Liquid, Fediment, and others. But each L2 comes with its own unique set of trade-offs, trading one or a combination of these three factors with the others. For example, Lightning is an off-chain solution that uses payment channels. Lightning exponentially increases Bitcoin transaction throughput and speed and greatly reduces transaction costs to mere pennies. But it also presents challenges such as the need for Lightning nodes to remain online. This means you cannot cold store your Lightning sats offline. And the complexity of channel liquidity and management, which can be a steep learning curve for users who want to use a self-custodial Lightning app. Sidechains like Liquid are another solution that helps Bitcoin scale. A parallel, programmable chain that allows developers to build more complex use cases like the ability to issue digital assets such as stablecoins and tokenized securities and bonds, all while remaining interoperable with Bitcoin. However, with Liquid, you are trading some of the decentralization of Bitcoin for these new features. As you have to trust a federation, which is far more decentralized than an exchange or single custodian app, but of course less decentralized than Bitcoin. In a world where Bitcoin is widely used, users can expect a variety of Layer 2 solutions with different features and trade-offs, similar to choosing the right tool for the job. It is equally important to learn how and when to use Lightning and Liquid in the daily management and or earning of your Bitcoin, what we Bitcoiners like to call SATS flow. A good rule of thumb is to always use main chain Bitcoin as your long-term savings account. However, when main chain fees are high in the interim, you can move to Liquid or Lightning, and when fees are low again, it's best practice to swap back to the main chain for long-term storage. 
There is no L2 or competing cryptocurrency as secure as Bitcoin itself. Liquid Bitcoin can be used as a midterm hodl, as there is no risk of channel closures like on Lightning. You can also cold store your sats offline in a hardware wallet like the Blockstream Jade. Liquid also offers greater privacy with blinded asset types and amounts. Liquid is also a great tool to be using to consolidate UTXOs. Then, you can move between Liquid Bitcoin and Lightning Bitcoin depending on your day-to-day -day use, what apps you're using, and for smaller micropayments. Now that we have a good understanding of what an L2 is, and the role Lightning and Liquid can have in your HODL strategy and SATS flow, let's get into the actual nuts and bolts of how to stack SATS cheaply using Lightning and Liquid swaps on bolts. The cheapest way to stack SATS currently, other than trading Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer for a service, is to buy Bitcoin from an exchange that offers free Lightning withdrawals. In today's example, we'll be using Strike and Cash App. In the first example, we'll be sending Lightning SATs that we purchase on Strike to self-custody in our green wallet by swapping Lightning for Liquid using Bolts. In the second example, we'll be using Cash App and swapping with Bolts to eventually cold store in a Liquid-compatible hardware wallet. For today's example, we'll be using the Blockstream Jade hardware wallet. Without further ado, let's get stacking. I'm first going to open up my green wallet and then go to my Liquid wallet. I'm going to enter my pin, which is just ones across the board. Please make your pin more robust. From there, I'm going to go to a brand new wallet to showcase that there's no transactions within the wallet. And from there, I'm going to go to receive, and then I'm going to copy over my liquid address. From there, I'm going to exit out of green and go to my internet browser, and I'm going to go to bolts.exchange. We're going to have the link in the description box down below, but it's bolts with a Z dot exchange. From there, I'm going to enter how many lightning sats I'm going to send bolts.exchange and it will show me how many liquid sats I'm going to receive in return. From there, I'm going to enter in my liquid address that I copied over from earlier and I'm going to press create atomic swap. Once I do that, a new window is going to open and I'm going to press copy lightning invoice and then from there, I'm going to go to my strike app. As we can see, I have some lightning sats that I need to withdraw, so I'm going to press send and then I'm going to paste in the address that I copied over from bolts. And from there, I'm going to get a new window that's confirming our send. Everything looks good to me, so I'm going to press confirm. After waiting a couple seconds, I get a new window that's making sure that we are all right with everything. Everything looks good to me, so I'm going to go back to my green wallet, enter my pin. And I'm going to go to the wallet that I just received those sats to. And as you can see, we have a one of two confirmation of our liquid sats. As we know, on the liquid network, one confirmation takes one minute and a final transaction is considered settled after two confirmations, which takes two minutes. After waiting two minutes, we could see that the sats have been finally received to our liquid wallet. So nice job. Now I'm going to be sending some liquid sats using Cash App and Bolts with a Blockstream Jade. So I'm going to go to my green wallet and I'm going to go to my Jade wallet. I'm going to go to my Jade, enter my pin, and within green it's going to bring me to my wallet. As to the same as before, I'm just going to show you a brand new liquid wallet from my Jade. I'm going to press receive and I'm going to copy over the liquid address. From there, I'm going to go back to Bolts and we could see our old transaction. I'm simply just going to refresh and go to a new swap. I'm going to do the same steps as we did before. I'm going to enter in how many Lightning Sats. I'm going to send Bolts.exchange for the, the atomic swap. I'm going to paste in my liquid address and I'm going to create an atomic swap. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to press Lightning Invoice. It's going to copy to my dashboard, my clipboard, and I'm going to go to Cash App. Within Cash App, I'm going to press Send Bitcoin, and I'm going to simply paste in the Lightning invoice that we copied over from Bolts.exchange. From there, it's going to bring me to a new window, and in that window, I'm going to say everything looks good, so I'm going to send the transaction. From there, the transaction has been sent, and so I just wanted to go back to Bolts to show you what happens, and it's just going to bring us to a new screen that says transaction is confirmed. So nice job. And now we're going to go over to Green, to see that transaction within our wallet. 
after waiting about a minute, we can see that the transaction was, is within our wallet. And the same as before, we see one of two confirmations. Two confirmations means the transaction is settled. So this will take a total of two minutes. Nice job. And that's it for today, folks. Before we wrap up, let's do a quick recap of what we just discussed. Liquid's cheaper fees, greater confidentiality, and fast one-minute block times make it a convenient, low-cost way to stack SATs and consolidate UTXOs. Stacking SATs in a high-fee environment does not mean you have to custody with an exchange. With free lightning withdrawals and cheap swap services like Bolts, self-custodying your Bitcoin is cheap and easy. Once your stack is large enough, or when fees are lower again, you can swap back to main chain Bitcoin to better secure your long-term savings stack. If you have any other questions related to Liquid Network, Blockstream Green, or Blockstream Jade, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section down below, or join our social channels. We're always looking for new topics to cover. And as always, thank you for watching. Until next time, continue stacking those sats, and remember, don't trust, verify. <laughs>